What's going on reef builders? I am Jake Adams. I hope everyone's reef tank is off to a great start this year. Um, if you don't know, if you're new to the reef builders ecosystem, uh, reef builders is primarily a website where all year long we cover all the news of the aquarium hobby, uh, focusing on new products, but also new species. Um, love me some angelfish. So right now on the website, we have a ton of the top tennists of 2019 and uh, it usually culminates with uh, the editor's choice that's me of the top 10 new reef aquarium products now these selections are subjective to some degree um, but if you take a look at them and my reasons for why these are such important products to the reef aquarium hobby um, i think you'll agree with a lot of the selections so um, you've already seen a lot of these kind of featured uh, in videos throughout the studio um, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into it and these are not in any particular order because they're such different products you can't really compare them so um, the first one that I kind of knew was going to be a game changer was the Hanna salinity tester or Santa Hanna salinity checker this came out right around December of last year but more widely distributed in January so I put it off a year to really put it through its paces and I uh, unintentionally have been using this as my de facto salinity testing uh, device ever since. The HANA salinity checker is waterproof, it's affordable, um, and as long as you know how to use it, you know, whether you're using it to measure specific gravity or salinity um, and calibrate it periodically, uh, this is just an awesome rapid tester of reef aquarium salinity that all saltwater and reef aquarium hobbyists should be monitoring and testing on a very regular basis. All right. Uh, now, second up is the Camor, Camor, Camor X1. No one really knows how to pronounce that. The Camor X1 um, micro pump. This is a very small standalone uh, dosing pump. It's like 60 bucks and it has programmable features, controllable features. It's completely wireless. There's not a single button on the thing. Um, so you're not going to be moving huge volumes of water with this thing, like no automatic water changes per se. Um, but for like an entry level basic single uh, channel dosing pump, $60. So you're talking about $180. That's full retail to dose your calcium, your alkalinity, and your magnesium. There's no fancy tricks. It's got a standalone Bluetooth app. Um, your dosing pumps really don't need to be course corrected very often. Um, but yeah, Camera X1, 60 bucks. Uh, it's going to be really hard to beat that value. All right, so another one that was a big surprise is the um, Pink Fusion or Purple Helix Coraline Algae in the bottle. Um, I think one of them has five and the other one has six varieties of Coraline Algae spores. And it's just a little pink purple bottle that uh, it does have a shelf life. So you wanna make sure to get it quickly um, that you just add to your tank. And if the conditions are right, if you have a saltwater tank, obviously it's gonna grow Coraline Algae or it's going to introduce coralline algae in your tank. And I've tried it on one tank. Sure enough, you know, within a handful of weeks, I was already starting to get some coralline algae, but after dosing that bottle to the tank, um, started seeing a lot more coralline in the aquarium. So I used to make something like this for my customers on a small basis when I worked retail. I would scrape off the front glass of a display tank, let it all settle out and siphon it out into and put it into a bag um, that, I mean, the water was pink from all the coralline and this is kind of the same thing you get with the uh, coralline algae in the bottle so um, you just turn all the flow off you know kind of sprinkle it on your rocks don't filter it out all, all the way and uh, what's interesting about this product 
is this the first time anyone's really put this out commercially. So if it's starting out with five or six spores and it's working really well, um, I'm really excited to see, I want more competition in that space, in the Coraline in a bottle space. But no one's gonna get a better name than Coraline Algae in the bottle. So good on you guys. Um, secondly, this is, this is actually kind of surprising. This is actually one of the last videos I put up very recently, um, is a Microbacter Start XLM. This is the one of the a rare year where one of the editor's choice top 10 products of the year is an additive. I think the last time we had an additive, it was the uh, Two Little Fishies Acro Power because I felt so strongly about that, that it was a steroid for corals. But not only did we have Coraline Algae in the bottle, but Microbacter Start XLM is tank cycling in a bottle. And now for, I'm sure there's some keyboard warriors already saying, well, but we've had products like this available forever. Um, I know Marine Land and a couple of the uh, mega corporations have had some tank cycling products before, but these have all been somewhat delicate, a little bit fragile with a limited shelf life and they have to be refrigerated and unless it's coming straight to you from the factory within a few days um, the effectiveness is not guaranteed right so you can cycle your tank with a lot of those other refrigerated products but as you saw in the video I didn't do any of the manual testing I just added a ton of ammonia to my fish tank that's right there looking good by the way I added a micro Baxter start XLM which I'm gonna abbreviate to MBS XLM um, and just within seven days, exactly like the bottle says, even from a very high starting point, um, a very linear decrease in the amount of ammonia in that tank. And um, just days later, I added some precious pair of Tinker Eye Butterfly Fish with no ammonia spike, no nothing. Um, this is gonna make, this is gonna be a great boon for all the retailers, all the aquarium stores. Now when you sell a tank, you don't have to tell people, oh, you gotta wait a whole month before you can do anything fun with it. Now it's like, all right, well, you can start with something basic and in about a week, we'll get you going. That's that's not just great for aquarists. It's gonna be really great for the aquarium industry. So Microbacter Start XLM really deserves to be on this list. Now, <coughs> maybe a little bit less applicable to most of us and most of you, is the MRC, the My Reef Creations HydroTech external water pump. Now for know, about 15 years, a couple companies have kind of dominated the high performance external pump market, but it seems from the feedback that I've heard um, from the general community that uh, the quality uh, control on some of those um, companies and models has kind of kind of waxed and waned, you know, kind of hit or missed. Um, these external pumps, they have a seal um, that needs to be replaced periodically. And usually, you know, it was about two years, then it was about one year, and it's sounding like a lot of pumps are having problems within a few months of seals are breaking. But um, with a rating of uh, 4,000 or 6,000 gallons per hour, you're not gonna be looking at the MRC HydroTech unless you have a big pump, a big tank or a big system. So even though this might not apply to a lot of the regular aquarists, there's a lot of fish stores and coral farms and commercial facilities and wholesalers that have higher water flow and water pressure demands than can be provided by our controllable DC pumps, which is what a lot of us hobbyists run nowadays, and that's what's powering the entire studio. So uh, let's see, MRC stands by their HydroTech pumps with a five year warranty, made in the USA, super efficient, super quiet, long lasting seals. Um, if you're in the market for that pump right now, I don't think there's really another choice than the MRC HydroTech. So good on you guys. Uh, so Red Sea, Red Sea is the distinctive honor of having two products on this list. Um, Sometimes when they put out a product, it's really, really a winner, but they haven't put out much up until last year. They have a big catalog coming out. So the Red Sea Reefer Skimmer. Uh, this thing is nothing remarkable about it, except that Red Sea really refined just about everything that a highly traditional protein skimmer can do, right? So if you look at those protein skimmers and you look at some others, 
It's doing all the same things. It's got a big old air silencer, it's got a CJ pump, it's got a needle wheel, it's got a bubble diffuser plate, um, but they just did it better. All the little things are better, like the, the screws for separating the uh, the base from the protein skimmer body. Um, they're uh, low thread count, so you don't have to sit there and spin them forever. The cup is ginormous. It's 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 got a hold like three quarters of a gallon, and it's got a built-in uh, manual neck cleaner. That is one of the things that we haven't seen nearly enough of. Um, so I might go a month, easily a month, without cleaning that skimmer, the Reefer Skimmer 900, because there's a window into it. And so with the scraper cleaner, you, or the neck cleaner, you can easily see what the, what the neck is looking like and how much it holds. Um, and, but this, you know, several years ago, this could have been an $800 or $900 skimmer, but the top model is like $550, I think. So I think it's like $300 and like $450 and then $550. Really incredible value if you want uh, a contemporary style in tank conical needle wheel protein skimmer. That's a really, really good one. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, if the Thread C played it safe, Max Spec threw all caution to the wind when they designed and built their brand new uh, Air Aqua Duo Protein Skimmer. There's a whole, I did a whole video on it. Like this thing and everyone who's had one is just not just impressed, but nearly blown away by this protein skimmer. It's, it's quiet, every feature is different. It doesn't have an, a manual or automatic neck protein skimmer, but it's got a neck cleaner but it has everything else. Uh, Built-in silencer, it can do recirculating or straight uh, flow uh, through the body. Uh, it's got the new the dual pin needle wheel design which chops the air up super duper fine. Um, it's controllable because it's DC. Um, I actually took mine completely apart just to see what it was up to inside. Um, let's say, let's call it about a month ago crystal clean inside the pumps. The bearings had no problem, no heat issues. Uh, I, now I'm just curious, like how can they make a smaller one and how can they make a bigger one? Because um, I really am looking forward to that technology for the large 400 gallon tank. So um, if there was a single product of the year, Max Spec is the uh, only company last year that really went out on a limb, showed a lot of ambition, a lot of courage, and just totally cast aside the mold for what a protein skimmer could be and they absolutely nailed it with the air aqua duo just super killer protein skimmer um, back to red sea now when red sea showed off the refled um all year and a half ago at interzoo in germany it was kind of a bit boxy kind of a boxy affair with a multi-chip and it didn't really look that different from the uh generic multi-chip LED designs. Uh, but once it landed, it was clear that Red Sea had a home run, a 90 watt multi-chip light with excellent color, uh, built-in wireless control and programmability uh, for $350. I mean, they just eviscerated any other company when it comes to a multi-chip design um, in that form factor. You know, the spotlights are not for everybody. I know there's a lot of reefers. It's almost two different camps now. You've got the spotlight guys, and then you have kind of like the strip light or the fixture guys. And um, But the Red Sea Reef LED, it just, it's a really great light. Corals just look good under it. And I think um, by going like 10% white and 90% blues, um, they made it really hard for uh, beginner reefers to get in trouble uh, by over lighting their corals. Um, I have more to say on using ultraviolet spectrum for a moonlight. Uh, it doesn't really jive with my reefing philosophy, but this is still kind of one of the lights that I would recommend for some of the newbies. Um, and then uh, on the other, other end of the spectrum, uh, Aqua Illumination was kind of quiet with their lights for 2018. 2018, they kind of focused on releasing their brand new format for a water pump, the Nero 5. Um, but the Hydras and the Primes were such a mature uh, platform for LED reef aquarium lighting. I wasn't, I just didn't know how they could really substantially improve on the Prime, the Hydra 26, and the Hydra 54. And, no, Hydra 52. 
and they totally did it. They blew it out of the water. Now, what's really interesting is now all of the prime hydras, prime and hydras use more or less the same uh, combat cluster of, of discrete LEDs. So there's less uh, variability between the lights. There are four different primes. There's a huge prime, there's a, a blue prime and a freshwater prime. Um, but by and large, the prime to the hydras, they're more powerful, more colorful, more channels. I think maybe a slightly lower cost on some of the primes, um, but for sheer performance, uh, the the primes and the hydras just kind of reestablished their dominance, I guess you could say, um, over that side of the reef aquarium uh, LED lighting market. I switched over some 52s to 64s, and it was just it was just beautiful. You know, a thinner light, kind of a built-in shroud. There's a full-on review on reefbuilders.com. Go and and check it out. What else? Okay, so the last one is maybe not the most exciting, but it might be one of the most crucial. If we started this video uh, top 10 with the Hannah Salinity Checker, the Salinity, very important, uh, we're gonna end on the Bulk Reef Supply, what I call the Comprehensive Heater Solution. They probably have their own terminology for it. Um, but what's interesting about this is that BRS did not make the Inkbird controller or the Shago heater, but they worked with very reputable companies to make them better at aquarium uh, jobs. Um, so the Shago heater is a solid titanium heating element. It's got zero brains, just a really tough core going into a titanium heater element. Um, again, you could murder somebody with it and probably put it back in your tank with no problem, um, but it needs a smart brain. And so Inkbird has been a popular controller. And uh, what they did is one of the um, guys failure points for the Inkbird is the temperature sensor. It is kind of a skinny little thing um, and it tends to get frayed and broken and just kind of used up. So they made a re, uh, uh, like a replaceable one. Just using a little audio jack input, you basically can replace the uh, temperature probe on the Inkbird. Now what really kind of blew my mind away is bulk reef supply cannot be making that much money on these things, you know, uh, because I think a whole complete system is going to be like 125 or 100 water with the controller. Um, and they have complete kits that include uh, some magnetic holders for the heater itself. So between I think 120 to 160, you're looking at 100, 300 and 600 watt kits. And the Inkbird actually has two outlets. So you can add a second uh, heating element if you wanted. Um, so yeah, bulk resupply is uh, almost saving people's aquariums, not just reef tanks, by offering a much more reliable uh, heater solution to the aquarium hobby. And um, yeah, just kind of speaks to where their heart is when it comes to your uh, aquarium or your reef tank. Um, so yeah, we have a heater, couple lights, couple skimmers, a pump, two additives, a doser, and a checker. That is a very nice, very well routed out assortment of products that um, I put my name on it. I'm the editor of Refilter's Choice. I am telling you that these products are going to be probably better than what you have. <laughs> okay, maybe those are bigger statements, but um, but you know, at Reef Builders, we work really hard to bring you all the news. Uh, as we're writing the stories, we don't usually know what's gonna be the best of the best um, from year to year, uh, but it's super fun at the end of the year to look back at our top 10 stories, top 10 angelfish stories, top 10 new coral species, top 10 new fish species, and now it always culminates with the top 10 products of 2019. So, this is your chance to chip in. Um, do you agree or disagree with my list? I think is what the YouTubers say. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you have any comments, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Put them down below. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this and on live aquarium topics, make sure to subscribe. And uh, you know, I'm super curious. As if there are any products that I missed or slipped through the crack or at least should have been considered. Um, there's probably four or five more really great products that just kind of barely made it off the short list for 2019. Um, I already have my eye to some brand new products for 2020. It's going to be a fun year. I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning into this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.